we can't wait for all the juicy details about their new boyfriend. Is he a psychopath too? <laughs> How old is he? Is she sexting him? It's all going to be here on HLM. Oh Leave it to Simone God. and just bring it on home. <laughs> Simone and I are going to take your calls. Let's look at his relationship history. So, he was on and off with Chelsea for seven years. Now he has got this young, hot, gorgeous blonde who's 24. What we do know about her is her mum has been married four times. It's not about snoring, it's about facing the pain. You need to be able to see the husband and wife you were before the pain. What do you want to say to Miguel here? <laughs> it's not his fault. Yeah. I just look at you and I think you have so much. You're so, you're so precious. And somewhere in your future life, you deserve to be somebody's princess. Thank you. Here's some advice for Lisa. If you're newly dating, I don't care what anyone says. Let's go back to courting. Don't sleep with them straight away. Get to know them. And that is what I'm sure you will do anyway. When you know each other, you can have the intimacy. And then when you know each other, you can shake things up in the bedroom. And you won't need to fake because you'll be comfortable enough to say, here's how you do it. And if you don't want to meet my needs, get out the door. Out the door. You are no John Mayer with that guitar, my friend. But it's all right. We are going to get you into navy white. It could do the trick. My question is for Simone. I want to know, is there such a thing as too much? As long as you're in the moment and you want sex three times a day, enjoy it whilst it lasts. <laughs> We're going to see whether you can do what every woman here wants to do, and that is spot a cheater from a distance. <laughs> so welcome, gentlemen. Welcome our five guys. I would like to be able to call him a sex addict because guess what? There is more chance of him recovering and their marriage staying strong if he is. If he's a narcissist, then there's no <laughs> hope. You need to man up here. You need to take your control back. Wow. And you need to have a say in this marriage. So you know what to do. Mm -hmm. And you know that you guys have it in you to do it, right? Yes. Yes. Thanks to you. Oh, no, thanks to you too. So you have to do what you were doing at the beginning of a relationship. And I don't mean that simplistically, and I know it is difficult, but things like shaving your legs, Jen, taking a shower. And Lisa's like, uh-huh, Simone is exactly right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the, it's the yeah. girl power, the great it's thing. Yeah. yeah. We do not know how he is relating to women, how he is stepping back, how no, he is doing. feeling guilty or shameful ah! about his sexuality. You do I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm okay. sorry. I'm, I'm stepping off. So just being tied up and focusing on pleasure means you don't have to take any responsibility. It's just pleasure me, man, pleasure me. And it, you can just focus on that, right, ladies? Sounds good. Take a minute, because I want you to get into character, because soon you're going to be Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And Travis and I, I've been <laughs> waiting for this moment. <laughs> we are going to role play a little bit, just to show you guys how it's done. We'll start this off. Dr. Travis. Are you okay with the list? Is there somebody, if your husband did have a situation, and you say, well, if you get, uh, you know, Angelina Jolie, go right ahead. Um, I would chop his <laughs> off. <laughs>